Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another new pick a card reading for you guys. This one is your October love prediction. If you guys are new to pick a card readings, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little rundown of how it works. So this right here is pile number one, pile two, three, and four. So you can take a moment, you can pause the video if you'd like to find out the pile that you're the most drawn to. You can pick based on the card up here or the crystals that we have down here. This is Labradorite, this is Carnelian, this is Titanium Aura Quartz, and this is some Shungite. So take a moment, pause the video, find the pile you're the most drawn to. Once you're done picking your pile, you can scroll down to the comment box or the description box to find the timestamp that's linked to your specific card so you can skip ahead to your personal reading. So without further ado, let's hop right into this, starting now. All right, so pile number one, if you chose this pile, this is your October love prediction. So without further ado, let's hop right into your guys' personal reading, starting now. All right, so pile number one, this is what I'm seeing for you guys. So we start off with the Emperor, then we have the Page of Cups, we have the Ace of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups. So when we start off with the Emperor, this is making me feel like you're going to feel on top of your game. Honestly, when we're thinking about love, it's like you're going to feel kind of almost maybe too good for anyone that's coming in your life. You might feel um, like everyone who comes and offers is not like on your level yet. Um, and you might feel just, you know, a bit superior. And it's not like I'm not trying to put you guys on a pedestal or something, but it's literally going to feel like you guys are better than the people that keep coming at you. It's just not going to be what you're into. And they're going to kind of be maybe some people that just are not what you're looking for. They're a bit disappointing to you, especially when we have the Five of Cups here as well. It's like you're getting all the ones that seem like um, they either have some emotional baggage or some other issues that you don't want. And yeah, I do feel like you're going to be um, probably asked out on a couple dates when we have the Page of Cups. This is somebody that's like definitely like offering dates or like wanting your attention type of thing. Um, it also could be that somebody there's multiple different things that i see in these cards so again it's a general reading so find out what resonates with you the most if you guys um already are in a relationship this is basically like feeling like things are really moving forward but it's more of a focus on work rather than on romance and so it's like the romantic department this month is not really the greatest except it's great for work, so it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's like you guys are getting so far ahead in work or school or, or things like that. Um, money might be flowing in. It's more of a focus on money and career for you guys in the month of October rather than romance and love, but I do feel like there's a few offers coming in. Again, if you guys are in a relationship, this is like you two are very driven in the month of October rather than focus so much on each other. This is more of like um, being very driven to excel and succeed, stuff like that. Um, also, I'm seeing for some of you guys, um, there might be somebody who comes into your life that is very like egotistical, honestly. So you might even have an offer come in from somebody who sees themselves as so amazing and so great and you're kind of looking at them like, yeah, not really feeling it though. Or you might be too distracted or focused on other things to realize that somebody who's like, very like um, either flashy, makes a lot of money, is very successful, is kind of like coming knocking at your door. So there's like all these different options. There's many different ways that this can go. So we'll have to see what the other cards are to find out a little bit more specifics on this. But this can also be a really rich person kind of coming into your life, somebody who's very successful, sees themselves as very high. Um, but it can also be that you already see yourself as so good that everyone else kind of coming in is a bit below you. So it can kind of go either or, so you'll have to see what happens for you guys in the, in the month of October, but definitely I see those three different options for you guys, depending on your guys' personal situations. We also have the card here of the Explorer and Nature. And so when we get these cards, I'm really feeling like you guys are on more of a career kind of focus in the month of October. Because when we have the Explorer and we also have the Ace of Pentacles here and the Emperor, this is like you guys are exploring the horizons probably of love. But honestly, it's like it doesn't seem like you're getting kind of exactly what you want in the month of October. Though you do have these offers, but it seems like you're still exploring for for a bit more. You're just trying to find a bit more of what's out there and probably a bit more focused on career as well. And with the nature card, this is kind of like waiting for things to fall naturally. You want things to happen naturally. You don't want to, you're probably one of those people that doesn't want to find like a Tinder date. And even if you're on Tinder or whatever, it's like, 
eh, it's kind of getting boring for you and you're like, I want something to happen like naturally. And honestly, the person that will be coming in your, in your life in October, because I do see somebody coming in if you guys are not in a relationship already. Um, if you guys are in a relationship, this is kind of just like small dates here and there, but nothing too crazy romantic, but there is a bit of romance here. Um, but if you guys are single, you're going to meet somebody in a very natural way. It's like almost like bumping into each other. I don't see this really happening much on social media. This is more of like a physical kind of like meeting with somebody that could be very interested in you. Again, you're probably either going to feel very above them or they're going to be somebody who has like a crazy amount of like stature or at least they try to come across that way for you. We also have the card here of passion. So it could be a very passionate month. If you guys are in a relationship, this is like, but I also feel like this is more like passion um, about your career, honestly. So, so kind of what we're getting here is there could be a passionate encounter with somebody, but I don't see it being very like crazy or like it could end up being long lasting, but I don't think you're going to take it super seriously in the month of October. But honestly, I feel like you're more focused on your personal passions in the month of October and more focused on your career, making money, that kind of stuff. I also have the storyteller card and the artist card. So artist and passion here. This is like definitely a time where you guys are more focused on you and getting ahead in work or school or anything like that. So you guys are more focused on yourselves, building your own um, empire basically, and small little romances here and there. We also have the card here of psychic development. We have divine timing, and then we have sacred space. And so with psychic development um, and all these other, this is like more again focused on you and I feel like um, you're going to be using probably your intuition when you meet somebody a lot. You're going to be kind of like listening to your first gut instincts and I think that that's why you're not going to pursue something for um, very long is because you're just going to feel immediately who this person is and I think it's just not of a, of a huge interest for you. If you guys are currently in a relationship, it's more of like, again, you focusing more on you and your own path and where you're going. With this divine timing, it's like you know that right now is not the right time. You want things to fold out naturally for you and you want to get your stuff together. You want to explore a little bit more without being like totally locked down. Um, and if you guys are currently in a relationship, it's more of like you're taking your time and more, you're having more me time in the month of October rather than romantic time, like I was saying. And then with sacred space, again, I feel like this is more of you wanting and choosing to be more alone this month, even if love does come knocking at your door. I feel like it, you're going to be like, okay, I'm so passionate about what I'm doing with my life and what I want to do and where I want to go, that that's going to be your main focus in the month of October. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys, pal number one. Hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to give it a really big thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. All right, so pile number two, if you guys chose this pile, this is your October love prediction. So without further ado, let's hop right into this to see what's in your future for October and all about the subject of love starting now. All right, so pile number two, this is what I'm seeing for you guys. So we start off with the Four of Pentacles. We have the Six of Swords, we have Temperance, and the Knight of Cups. So when we start off with the Four of Pentacles, this is like you guys are probably hoping for love, wishing for love, or you might be holding on to somebody right now um, where you don't really want to let it go and you're really hoping that something works out. But it kind of looks like there is some time between where you guys feel a bit lonely or you guys might be at a distance from a lover. This can also be a long distance relationship. Either you guys are in a long distance relationship or you guys, um, your partner or yourself has to go on a trip away for a little while. Or if you guys are single, this is kind of feeling like, you know, love's a bit farther away, but hopefully it'll come, wishing for it, that kind of stuff. But it feels like there's some loneliness in the month of October and you guys feel separate from something that you really love um, and you're probably hoping for it or hoping for more time with that person, that kind of stuff. So when we have the Six of Swords, I do see some possible travel in the month of October, either for you or your partner um, might be traveling away. Or it could just be like if you're single, you know, you might be doing some some of some things on your own where you might be going on a road trip. You might be going on a trip somewhere, especially when it's beside temperance as well. This is all about travel. So you guys might be either going home for some holidays, for some holiday time, pre-holiday time, something like that. Um, when we have the Knight of Cups, though, at the very end, this is kind of promising. This can be somebody coming in your life, a really good potential romantic partner. 
at the end of the month. And so what you guys might notice is like feeling a bit distant. You might see your lover by the end of the month. They might come back home or your distance um, you, you are able to kind of like get that romantic connection in by the end of the month and it feels kind of all good. Things feel great. Again, if you guys are single, I do see somebody kind of coming in at the end of the month for you guys. We also have the card here of get wild and withdraw. So with the withdrawal card, that really um, just like emphasizes what I was saying before of kind of feeling a bit alone and separate from a loved one. Um, or it could be that, again, if you guys are... Uh, single already. It could just be that you are feeling a bit withdrawn and a bit alone. With this get wild card, I do feel like you're you're ready. You're almost on the prowl, the hunt. You're ready for that romance to enter back into your life. And if you guys are in a long distance relationship and you're planning to see um, your partner by the end of the month, or at least sometime in October, it's like you're ready to just kind of almost pounce on them and just love them and just like get so excited with this get wild card. Um, if you guys are single again, I do feel like you're just really ready and you're wanting and desiring love. Our next card here is worth waiting for. And so again, we have that reiteration about waiting for something. I do feel like you guys might feel at a distance. So if you guys are currently single, you, you feel kind of lonely, but it's reminding you that dime, divine timing is working for you right now. So I do feel like at the end of the month, you're gonna get um, either like a potential person in your life or you're gonna see your loved one by the end of the month. Um, so again, it's worth waiting for. There's again, like a distance kind of feeling happening here. Then we have the Samaritan, and then we have child nature. So this is kind of like having some sort of like childish feel, like not necessarily childish feelings, but this young feeling of like, um, it brings back some like light romance into your life, especially if you guys are in a long distance relationship, this kind of like get wild and then childish nature card coming up. This is like you guys feeling like a kid again and it lights that romantic spark up so much by the end of the month. It's going to be beautiful. I think it's going to be really romantic at the end of the month when you guys get to see your loved one again. If you guys are single, this is kind of like bringing out that childish like playfulness in you again where you're just like, oh, I'm so ready for love. I want like that love with that spark, that romance where I get to be texting them and get so excited. And I feel like you guys are going to be getting that at the end of the month with somebody coming into your life. It's like you guys end up texting until 4 a.m. Even if you guys are like 45 years old, you're going to get that person in your life that's like, oh, I can't wait to talk to them. And they keep you up late at night. It's like the, those childish kind of like romantic love feelings that we end up doing. But they're really not childish, honestly. They're just kind of like things that we did when we were a kid that we try to mature out of, but then they end up coming back in and sparking us up in some kind of way. Then we also have this one, which is like you, um, this is like the card of like helping other people. And so um, you might be wanting appreciation from somebody. You might be desiring appreciation from your loved one or at least like recognition or recognition from other people. And so this is kind of like receiving that recognition. But I feel like for the most part of the month, you'll be really desiring to be noticed by other people. Like um, you might want to go out with friends um, to certain parties or something like that where you guys can really get ready and specifically just to get noticed. You want people to notice you um, and you want people to flirt with you. You're desiring that right now. You're desiring like the wild um, kind of fun, exciting, flirtatious kind of romance to enter your life. And I feel like you guys are going to be getting that by the end of the month. We also have the past, present, future. We have the home card and then we have creativity. And so past, present, future coming up. This is like, um, it kind of reminds me of the temperance because again, like there's this distance thing where you guys might be really thinking about the past and thinking about what do you want to create? What do you want in love again? And then you might be thinking about the present and it, exploring that and also then the future, like what do you want in the future? And I think it's tied with your past and your present, especially if you're in a long distance relationship, you might be thinking about all of the fun things that you guys did together in the past and trying to create something like that in the future. And if you guys aren't, this is more of like thinking about all those good romantic feelings that you used to have and wanting to recreate that into your life again, especially when we have this creativity card as well. We have the three cups and we have the three birds. This is kind of resembling past, present, future again. And it's like getting creative on your own and like desiring and pulling in and attracting and manifesting this kind of like exciting romantic love again that just makes you feel sparked and excited and like you could stay awake all night talking to this person. And with this home card, um, again, if you guys are feeling like a certain distance or if you guys are traveling, you might be homesick wanting to 
be with your lover again or have them come home to you or be next to them again. It's like this desire for um, closeness and I think you guys are going to attain that again by the end of the month, but it seems like for the most part of October, things feel at a distance from you or it just feels like you're desiring something to make you feel more at home and more at peace and stuff like that. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys, pile number two. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to give it a really big thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. All right, so pile number three, if you guys chose this pile, this is your October love prediction. So we're gonna hop into all the different predictions for your October love. Without further ado, let's hop right into this reading starting now. All right, so pile number three, this is what I'm seeing for you guys. So we start off with the five of wands. We have the queen of pentacles, the 10 of wands, and justice. So when we start off with the five of wands, when we're talking about love, this is kind of like two people trying to, and if you guys, this is if you guys are in a relationship, I'm gonna start off with like in a relationship and I'm gonna flip back and forth whether you guys are single or in a relationship and kind of touch on all the different things that could be popping up for you guys in October. So if you guys are currently in a relationship, this is like um, starting off and, and trying to get your schedules to work together and it's feeling like nothing's really happening. It could also be um, a few disagreements here and there and you guys are trying to figure stuff out um, and it could be something to do with like work and feeling like the schedules just are not matching up and it could be that you guys end up taking on more work to try to get it done sooner and to in order to see them and so it just feels kind of like a heavy weight of trying to figure out how to see your loved one and how to balance all of your other obligations that you have and also possibly a couple disagreements happening in the month of October between you two. We also have the Queen of Pentacles here and this is kind of like you guys um, are, are probably more focused on like the the day-to-day -day stuff that you guys have to get done and this is like the material stuff you guys might be focused on like either redecorating your guys's house this could be like moving and having a couple disagreements with your loved one on what you guys want to do with that or it could be talking about food and diet wanting to sort that out and it's just really kind of like all over the place um, but it does look like at the end of the month it's getting balanced out like you guys are going to be able to figure stuff out, figure out the disagreements and find truth, find your partner's truth and find like a balance and a compromise between that that works for both of you. So it will be sorted out by the end of the month, but it looks like the beginning and middle of the month is like trying to figure stuff out and trying to balance everything where you both are taking on the same amount of chores, the same amount of this, the same amount of that. If you guys are single though, this might be like dating a few different people there's people from all over kind of like probably coming here and there that probably want to take you out on a date. And it kind of looks like, honestly, you're not really interested in them. It could be a couple people that are fighting over you. Um, and it also could be that you're just, you look at the people that you're surrounded by and you just have no romantic interest in any of them. So you're kind of more focused on yourself because there's nobody that's really interesting you especially because it just looks like there's a bit of immaturity in the people that are currently around you or just like there's really no interest. They, they don't really fit into your puzzle piece basically. And then also this is like, you're just kind of occupying your time with other obligations and other things. But it looks like by the end of the month, if you guys are single, after doing a lot of your ob obligations, worrying about you more uh, for mo the most part, it looks like things are going to balance themselves out. It looks like things are going to kind of come to a place where you're like, okay, you, you're going to put your foot down and be like, I don't want any of this. You're going to figure out what you really want in a partner and in a person. Cause it looks like in the beginning, um, you might even be considering a person, but it just feels like it doesn't fit quite right. And this is kind of sorting it out and finding a balance and finding what you truly do want your true desires. Then the next card that we have here is speak truth. We also have the seeker and then we have ascension. And so with these cards, this is like, um, you're finally, if you guys are in a relationship, this is like speaking each other's truth, being like, Hey, this is what I want in my life. And this is what I need. These are my, um, like, basic needs that you need to meet. And so as we talked about like the kind of conflict that's in the beginning, either things just feel unbalanced or things, there might be a couple disagreements here and there. It's all about speaking your authenticity and your authentic truth and also listening for your partner's authentic truth and trying to find a balance between that. When we have the seeker card, this is like seeking out um, how to make this work, all the different ingredients that you guys need in order to find a good balance and to find a good compromise between you two. And it does look by the end of the month that things are going to be on the up and up and, and you guys are going to figure out um, a way to make things work after speaking your guys' truth. And it looks like you guys are ascending to the next level and really figuring stuff out 
justice will be brought to any situation that um, has like any disagreements or any conflicts or anything like that, it will get figured out, it will get sorted out, but it might be like kind of a bit of a heavy weight at first and it feels kind of like, you know, something that you guys really need to figure out. Any problems to solve kind of are a bit of a weight, but it does look like they get solved and you guys move up and past it in a really beautiful way. It's like wings grow at the end of the month and you guys are on the higher road and things are going really good. We also have the card here of attraction. And so this is, you, uh, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And so I feel like um, you will have this attraction if you guys are currently in a relationship. This is like, you guys are gonna be very attracted. You guys are gonna have this passion with your partner that helps you kind of like sort out these conflicts is because you guys have this pull between each other that helps you guys sort your guys' stuff out. Because if you look at this card, everything's kind of like a heyday, a mess, and it looks like it gets organized. And this is all because of that pull between you two, this magnetic pull. If you guys are single though, this is about um, kind of speaking the truth within yourself about what you truly want in somebody and wanting to really seek that out. And we have the seeker card. There might be somebody that you're attracted to, but you'll um, get to authentically know your attractions even more, like what you really want in someone and not just based on looks. This is based on absolutely everything, the whole package. And you'll kind of realize that you wanna seek that instead and you might ascend to the next level of being like, okay, I'm not going to give the other people a chance anymore that really just don't fit in with me. You're kind of going to ascend to the next level of being like, okay, this is my authenticity. This is what I need. And it's like you almost advance a level and you don't take no shit no more. And you don't, um, you know, look at people that just really are not worthy of your time and don't fit in with you. The next cards that we have is Angel and then Don Juan. And so when I look at these two cards, this is kind of like you guys are going to be, um, if you guys are single, this is like you're going to realize that you want an angel and not just a Don Juan. And a Don Juan is like somebody who is kind of like a playboy or a playgirl and somebody who's just, you know, they um, almost use their seductive abilities to kind of just like get to you and then that's all they kind of want is you know, the more sexual, they just want to feel sexual desires rather than build something, you know, meaningful. And you're going to realize that you want the angel. You want somebody that is like the whole package and that wants the relationship, that wants all of this, all of that, and fills your entire soul rather than just a Don Juan. So I feel like if you guys are single, you're going to be going through um, sorting those people out and figuring out what you truly want. Um, if you guys are in a relationship, this is like um, realizing the parts of you two that don't really fit, calling each other out, speaking truths, calling each other out on your guys' mistakes or your guys' darker sides, and at the end kind of ascending. We have this ascension card and this angel card. It's like you guys both ascend to the next level of kind of like um, confronting each of your guys' like uh, kind of not so good qualities and helping ascend past those and become bring out more of that angel soul between you two. We also have the healing energy card, which totally makes sense because this is like healing kind of the darker parts. Whether you're single or in a relationship, this is like kind of healing those sides of yourself, being authentic, speaking truth, and um, ascending to you know the next level, kind of reiterating what I just said in the last little bit. Then we also have the new day card, and then we also have transformation. So this is a huge transformation where you guys are going to be almost justifying a situation within yourselves and ascending past it and going on to the next level of realizing that you deserve better or that you and your current partner um, are just, you need to work out better compromises and transform with each other and grow with each other. And it's kind of bringing you to a new level because we have this new day card, which is like, you guys are ascending to that next level. It's going to be a new beginning for you guys, whether you guys are single or in a relationship. It's like going to that next level together or um, as a single person and realizing that you need to work things out better. It's like everything kind of works out better at that point. So yeah. I um, don't want to repeat myself too much, so I think you guys can fill in the blanks on that because um, it's definitely just like the beginning of something new for you guys because if you're in a relationship, this is like starting fresh of being like, okay, we've worked out these compromises. This is going to be the way it is and it's starting like on a new slate and a higher level together. If you guys are single, it's like the beginning of something new where you guys realize what you truly deserve in a relationship. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys, pile number three. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a really big thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys in my next video.
Bye guys. All right, so pile number four, if you guys chose this pile, this is your October love prediction. So without further ado, let's find out what's going to happen potentially in your guys' month of October starting now. All right, so pile number four, this is what I'm seeing for you guys. So we start off with the Page of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Wands, the Hanged Man, and the King of Cups. And so when we have this, this is like the Page of Pentacles uh, signifies something that's like slow moving. So if you guys are currently in a relationship, this is like you guys are wanting to take it slow. You guys are wanting to do it right. But there's part of you that wants to kind of like jump into this. There, and it could be um, either one of you or it could be both of you really wanting to move quickly and like take it to the next step, do all this stuff. But there's part of you that it's like, I want to do this right. I want to do this correctly. And there could be a part of you that's contemplating like, where is the good balance between doing it correctly and also going based on your emotions and diving right into it? Because you guys might be really passionate about somebody, but there might be part of you that's like, okay, I want to do this right. I want to take this slow. So you're really contemplating between them both. And when we have the King of Cups next, this is like, you're going to figure this out by really listening to your emotions rather than your passions, feelings, and your logic, put all of that aside, bring up what you're really feeling. What does your heart actually want? Because the cups really connect to the heart and where the true emotions, because a lot of the times our mind can even make up certain emotions for us based on what we know in our logic. So actually connecting to your heart rather than the emotions that are created in your mind, like really connecting to that heart center space. And you kind of do that by really just sitting quiet and like asking yourself a question and waiting for that truest feeling to really pop up. And I think that's where you guys are going to get your answer from. If you're currently single, I do see some passionate stuff coming in, but it might be that you guys are wanting to like take things slow and it could be that you guys want to wait um, for you know, and make sure that it's the right person. But I do think like somebody um, is quite potential in your life right now. So even if you're single or in a relationship, it's like there's somebody that might be knocking on your door that seems kind of like a good potential for you guys. So if you guys are single, I do see somebody coming in that's a possible potential, but I think you guys are gonna wanna take it slow. There's a part of you that's like, okay, what do I really want? Do I wanna jump into something or do I wanna do this right? Because I feel like you guys have a lot of other obligations too and you guys are really focused on doing something work-wise or school-wise as well, where you guys are really wanting to ascend to the next level as well and you guys aren't fully ready to maybe dive right in with somebody so quickly. Like there's a lot of things on your plate, there's a lot of desires and passions that you wanna do as well and you wanna make sure that the person that you end up being with um, fulfills all those aspects as well. So there's part of you that's like, contemplating, waiting, listen to those true emotions. Don't dive in so quickly, even though part of you might want to, but I think you have enough logic to tell you, okay, like I wanna take this slow and also move to the next step and all this kind of stuff. So it's like doing it the right way, waiting for the right moments as well in your life. And then if you guys are single, it's like, again, I feel like somebody's coming in, but part of you might be wanting to really wait. And again, like I said, take it slow. We also have the shadow card and the play card. And so with the shadow card, this could also be, um, you know, the hangman comes here when you're contemplating and it could be because there's part of you that still is unsure. Or again, this is kind of like the duality. We see the two different colored bats here. We also have the duality between the page of pentacles and the nine of wands. And so um, there's again, the duality of like wanting to do it right, take it slow, doing what you know would be correct, and then also listening to those passionate emotions that tell you you wanna dive right into it and go into like a playful mode. So there's, um, again, with these two dolphins, I feel like you can swim really well with another person. There's another person in your life that honestly can, can feel like they fit in so well and you guys are swimming in the same pond, it feels great, they really relate to you and they feel another aspect of you and they feel like your other counterpart. But again, there's this like shadow where it's like, there's honestly such a strong feeling of wanting to just dive right in and then the logic telling you, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. We gotta do this right. Then we also have pay attention to the red flags as our next card. So this is like talking about um, pay attention to your logic, pay attention to what comes up for you. Again, there's like this dualistic thing where it's like, I do I wanna focus more on me or do I wanna dive right into this relationship? And I think the signs are telling you like, hey, hold your horses. And I'm really, I don't know why I get that message in my head, like hold your horses, like don't rush things. They don't need to be rushed, do it right. And I feel like with this person, this is a very playful thing and there's nothing wrong with that. Pay attention if anything 
cautioning comes up. Like if your mind is like telling you while you're contemplating, if your mind is like, I'm not ready yet, this isn't right, this is moving too quick, pay attention to that if, if things like that come up. Um, your spontaneous side will probably be like, oh, okay, no, it's fine, let's just jump into this. But pay attention, the signs are like cautioning you to take things slow, to really think about it. Um, don't just dive into a new relationship without really contemplating. But if you guys contemplate this, have fun, listen to those emotions, and then also pay attention to your heart especially. The King of Cups is the last one, your heart will tell you exactly how quick to move and what next steps to take in your um, in your guys' relationships or if somebody new comes along for you guys. And I do see if you guys are single, this does look like something new is coming along. But again, it does it does look like you're going to contemplate this one quite a bit. We also have the queen and the advocate. So with queen, um, this is like this feminine energy um, and it's like this almost like authority figure the queen like really calls the shots so it's like step yourself up to the point where it's like you you call the shots don't feel like you have to move into something so quickly um, and don't feel like you're gonna lose it if you don't move in quickly because you really don't see yourself as a queen or a king that you are and be like hey I am worthy so if you feel like I'm worthy too I'm worth waiting for. So I'm getting the I'm getting the feeling like worth waiting for in my head. So it's like hold yourself with that height and also don't be worried if if the other um, person also wants to take things slow. This is like both of you wanting to just do things correctly. It's not necessarily a bad thing. We also have the advocate right here, which is like this is um the inspiration of like action, doing things. Again, this could be like taking the next step, but doing it in the right way, waiting for the right moment, waiting for the right time. Pay attention to the red flags. If it doesn't feel like the right time, don't do it. Um, don't take things to the next level. Date this person, go out with them, this kind of stuff. And and um, when, we see, when I see advocate, this is like making me feel like something's like telling you to um, take some sort of action. And whatever this action is for you, um, listen, contemplate about it, and again, wait for the right moments to take certain actions. We also have the Ascension card. We have Slow But Steady. Oh my gosh, I got goosebumps when I saw that card. Because <laughs> um, it's exactly what we're talking about over here. And then there's a card that literally actually says Slow But Steady on it. Um, wow. And then we also have Discernment. And Discernment is exactly like the Hangman. So this is like really waiting and discerning and making... Um, the correct decision and thinking about it. So if it doesn't feel like the right time, don't do it. Discern between passion, logic, and emotion. Discern between all those different things. Place them in different categories. Feel what's right for you. And again, slow but steady. Slow but steady always wins the race. So it's cautioning you to again, and probably telling you that in the month of October, you're probably gonna wanna take things a bit slow, but again, they're steady. And it's like ascension is making me think of like taking the next step or going to the next level taking a certain action. Um, and again, Knight of Wands always talks about taking a certain action. So there will be an action that you guys take. There will be some sort of ascension in your relationship life. If you guys are single, it's like ascending to the part of like where you're actually dating somebody. If you're dating somebody, this is ascending to whatever the next step is for you guys, whether that's like engagement, marriage, or uh, going steady with somebody and actually asking them to be like official, anything like this. So this is like ascending to the next level, but you really need to discern the right time. Make sure that you're not just doing this um, in order to keep somebody or doing this in order to um, please your passions or um, that kind of stuff. This is like discern what the right moment is, the right timing, that kind of stuff. Slow but steady wins the race. And that's probably what the month of October for love is going to be like for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to give it a really big thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.